We're having to compete uh, with distracted driving uh, in a way that, that we never did prior to uh, the advent of smartphones. The continued uh, use of smart work zone technology is extremely promising and it's shown to be a proven method to increase safety in our work zones. In this particular day and age, drivers are getting information from a variety of sources. You have devices that are in and around the work zones that are communicating information to drivers, like message boards. We have automated flagging devices, which allows one person to do the job that was previously done by two, and allows them to get off the roadway so that there's no danger of them being struck by a vehicle. One of the most successful initiatives that we have experienced is that of using truck mounted attenuators or crash attenuators. It gives our highway workers a, a shadow, if you will, of protection, but it also protects the public. Just about every one of the attenuator strikes that we've encountered uh, in recent months, the operator of the vehicle that struck the attenuator has walked away with minor injuries. I just always think that it's important that we understand when there are, when you see the barrels, when you see the signs, just take a little extra time and a little extra care. If a crash occurs in a work zone, everything's going to stop and it's going to cost the public money because the department is going to have to deal with it and the law enforcement is going to have to deal with it and medical services might have to deal with it. And those costs are paid for essentially by the taxpayers of Tennessee. So if people will just slow down and become keenly aware of their surroundings as they move through a work zone and get through it safely, it works out better for everybody.